folks. Um, I want to do a quick tutorial on wireframing and uh, how to do that. And it's a great way to prepare a website for uh, creating the layout and things. So I want to show you from webdesignledger.com. They have an 18 great examples of sketched UI wireframes and mockups. Now, these were all hand sketched, all right? but you can see kind of the elements that go into a wireframe. We have all the elements, in this case, of a web page, and that's what I'm focusing on. But you can do this for mobile apps and other kinds of uh, types of uh, applications you might make in web-based uh, things like that. So right here, a couple things I just want to point out is that images are usually displayed as a rectangle with an X in it. Sometimes you'll see avatars. And sometimes you'll see text, sometimes you won't. All right, so this is an example of a wireframe. We're not worried about all of the look and feel of a website. We're more looking at the structure and what elements go where. So I'll show you a couple examples. This five years of Firefox was a really interesting one. And you can see these were hand drawn, so it's gonna be a, a little bit harder. I'm gonna show you how to do it using online wireframing tools. Um, here's one for like a mobile app. Notice all these annotations on the outside. Um, so it's a great thing for you to Google and look at other examples of wireframes. UI stands for user interface. So what I really want to focus on is some of the tools that are out there and how we can do it. The first thing I want to show you is this mock flow. Um, let me just, there. Uh, here's the window where it's open. It is mockflow.com. And this is like a Word, WordPress child theme is what we're doing. Now, on it, you want to look at components and components that go into a page. And one of the things that I did here is um, I used components that are part of wireframing. And um, this is free. Uh, the free version is somewhat limited. Uh, but I'll show you how quickly it is. Now, if you wanted to, you could do a layout builder. You just drag and drop it in. And there's your two-column layout, complete with header, sidebar, content, and footer. So you could actually take that and then fill it out with other details. So of course, you're going to want to make it whatever size you want. It's nice to make it nice and big. I tend to not use those, so I'm actually going to delete it. Now, you can see your elements. There's text, buttons, block text, image. And rather than just walk you through each of these, what I'm going to do is pull them out and just start making a, a wireframe for a website. As you scroll down, I believe we have one that is just like gives us the whole window of what the, the, the place should look like. Yeah, window. So I drag that up, and here's like your browser window. If you want to make it like this is how the browser is going to look. So you just drag it, drop it. Okay, figure out the elements you're looking for. You can add lines. You can add little, all kinds of little things here. We go back up to the top. Um, let's say I want to do like a logo. I might drag just a click on image, drag it out, put it up here, add a little bit of space. It's always a good idea to leave gutters and margins and things like that. And then I might grab like uh, block text or text. So you could put on here. You just you can gr drag it, drop it, and then you can double click on it and you can edit it. Okay. So you can put like website title, get rid of all the extra, lorem ipsum, highlight it. Um, I can change its size, 18. Actually, I actually guess I have to highlight it, uh, 22, make it bold, change the color somewhat, um, let go, and, and there you have it. You can then adjust it. One of the things that's nice about most of these online wireframe tools is they have ways that you can see if they're lined up with the other elements. They will show you that. And then if you want to have a tagline or whatever, you can do that. You might want to move it up, for example, and then add a nav bar. And so all the elements are in here that you can use. And most of these sites I'm about to show you have the same general ones. They might look different from page to page. So there you go, menu bar. I just drag it over, drop it in. Oh, that's more like the window up here. That would be good for an app. I don't want that. I want a um, horizontal nav bar. There's tab navigator, tab bar, tag cloud. Scroll down a little bit further. Horizontal button bar. That's really what I was looking for. And there you have it. 
and you can line it up, stretch it out. Let's say you want to add a little search widget. A lot of menu bars will do that. You just drag it right over here, drop it in, line it up. There you have it. So as you can see, and all these work pretty much the same way. You've got dif different windows. You can, you can gra grab it. You can, since all of these that I'm showing you are free, you can just take a look at each one, test it out, see if you like it or not. If you want to do a, a, like a couple things you might want to do, if you're going to have like a form with a checkbox group, you've got a bunch of form elements, um, you've got different types of bars. There's a vertical button bar, wedge bar looks like those sort of tabs you might see on folders. Um, anyway, so you've got a lot available here. Um, and then you got bullet list, images, block text. So you can, you can grab, for example, let's do like maybe put an image here, line it up. Maybe you're going to have a series of images. Each one is going to have a label under it, maybe. You can change the font size, make it larger. There's your label. Grab some block text, drop it underneath, and use those little alignment guides as you drag it. Okay, so there you have it. We can then adjust this to match the width there. And then once you've got this, you can, oops, hold on. Let me undo that. Well, I don't like this because it's, it's moving it here. So I'm just going to hold this down. I'm holding down shift as I'm selecting them. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Just drag it over. And there you got another one there. So um, you want to get a nav bar on the left and a sidebar. Watch what I can do. I can add like a bullet list if I want it. I can do one of those vertical nav bars that we were looking at early, uh, earlier. So here we go, list, drag it over, drop it in, line it up, drag it over here, and we create our, sort of our two column. We can add things like, they even have a tag cloud on here. I thought it was kind of cool. Drop a little tag cloud. Drop it in, resize it. There you have it. So all the elements you can do, it's just a drag and drop, rearrange. That is app.mockflow.com, also known as Wireframe 2. Uh, another one that's an interesting one is this wireframe.cc. What's interesting about this wireframe is you don't see the items that you can add. You actually just click on the canvas, drag, and then choose your object. You wanted a box, you want rounded corners, you want a slider, um, you want a little drop down menu, you can do that. Um, you can get like an image scroll bar kind of thing. Um, you can do here headline, you can turn that into a nav bar. You can just add text um, and then you can turn it into text input, etc. All right, so this one is a little bit more limited. You have to kind of use what you got. I do like the grid on the background. That's kind of a nice little feature. And of course, you drag, you want an image, and you might have to just do it like that. There you go. So those are the elements here. That's wireframe.cc. Also, they have a free version, or you can pay to go premium. Um, another one, Kaku, is one that you can do. There's an example. The interesting thing about Kaku is you've got freehand wireframe, which looks like it's hand drawn, if you want that folksy sort of look. Or you can click on wireframe here. I don't know what happened to my window. And on the wireframe, you can see all the different wireframe elements. There we have it. It now appeared under wireframe. We have all of these elements, the same elements we had before, they just look cleaner. And so you can see the element. So instead of photo like that, we have a photo that looks this way. So you can see the difference between them. This is under wireframe. And then you can see the elements that you have there. And I almost forgot, here's one other online wireframing tool. I actually really like this one, Mockup, spelled with a Q. Um, and look at some of the design elements we have on here. Little notes, paragraphs, heading, 
links, link bar, you know, all kinds of things on here. I, I do like this. This is definitely one worth looking at. Um, and just, it gives you a different look and feel for doing your website. So mockups, M-O-Q-U-P-S dot um, com. And they have a free uh, beta version you can try out. I don't recall if we can save these or not. You might have to, you know, save it as just like an image. Um, I'll have to take a look at that. Anyway, but at this point, they, I know they do have a free version. Oh, this is one where you can actually get it as an app, I believe, too. And you can get it in the Chrome Web Store, so you can get it as a Chrome add-on. And I look under stencils and scroll down, and you can see all the different ones we have here. It even has, like, Google Maps. So it's a great one to show, a very, you know, how you want to do it. So there's a lot of different things that we can add in here. And um, you can style them, too, when you get them in there and look little ribbons things like that and then now take a look when we click it um, you can click it here you can add new links or new text <coughs> excuse me click it once though and you can change the color text uh, what it looks like when it's selected so you can change that a little bit um, and so yeah so you've got different things that you can do um, so you can do thick lines, that's called the stroke. You make them thin, you can choose, turn them into dotted or dashed or whatever. So you've got, uh, you got options here on each of these. And so just some other, one more mock-up type wireframe site. So anyways, I, I hope uh, with all of these different options that um, you'll have plenty to choose from. Well, the bell seems to indicate that I'm done. So I think I've covered enough to help show you how you can use these wireframe tools. Of course, you know, you can always just hand draw them out and a lot of designers will do that. And sometimes it's nice to get away from the computer. It's nice to think about what you're gonna do without um, having preset tools. So as a last option, I highly recommend uh, you consider doing that and just hand drawing it yourself. Uh, it's a great little exercise to do, um, and uh, who doesn't like drawing? Okay, maybe don't answer that if you do. Anyway, I hope this helps, and I'll see you later.